Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss UDP client. In previous video, we have made a demonstration how to create a UDP, UDP server using Boost ASIO libraries. And uh, in this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to make a simple UDP client to exchange message with the UDP server, uh, which is UDP echo server, which we created from the previous videos. Here on the Linux, we just have to create a simple program called the UDP client. And uh, this is the UDP client we are going to design, which take two parameters. One is the server part and the message. And uh, so this is the UDP, cli UDP client going to send message to the server, which is the server part number, and then receive message from server and print out. So the first of all, we have to check the argument. If it's not equal to three, it means uh, syntax wrong. So we have print, just print the message. The usage is this way, and we exit. So after we verify the input, and uh, we have to we just create a two buffer memory. Once the buffer send and the buffer receive, and we just uh, memory setting both buffer and copy the argument two which is the message we are going to send to server to the buffer send. And then we start to create the UDP examples. To create a simple UDP client, it just need the first five steps. First step is create a socket. So first step is create a socket. To create a socket, use the socket system call. Socket system call takes three parameters. So this socket takes take three parameters, the domain, type, and the protocol. So what the domain is, domain is which socket we shall be create. There are going to be once the AF init, which if we use the IP4 address, or the AF init 6, if we are going to use the IPv6, of the AF Unix, there's a few S. So we are going to use this AFP init. So the first domain is going to AFP underscore init. The second is the type. So the type is the type of a service. Because we are going to create a service of UDP, so it's going to be socket dgram. Because the UDP is stands for the user datagram protocol. So that's why we're going to use the socket, socket DM as second. The third one is the protocol. So what the protocol means, if we look at the socket.h header file, and this is the socket, the third one is the protocol. Here is the if protocol is zero, so one is the truth automatically. So we're going to by simple a socket application, so we're going to choose the protocol is zero. So this is how we create a socket. We're using the socket function AFP init, which we x IPv4 and the UDP and the protocol is zero because we choose automatic. This function return to a socket file descriptor and uh, if this discovery is uh, minus zero, it means uh, we create a socket field. So we just uh, print the message, error out. And the second step after we successfully create a uh, pro uh, socket, we're going to second step, we're going to be identify the socket name. So what that socket name means, socket name means the part number, IP address, and the socket family. So the socket in the family, we say is AF init because we create a socket, is AF init. And the socket part, which we got from the argument one, from the command line. And we have to use the H2NS 
to convert as a network represented signal because the power number is not a number, uh, short number. It uh, have to be converted use HTS. Yes, so that's what it means. Let's see. So H to N S, it means convert a number into a 16-byte network representation. So we, because the socket uh, address name have to be converted. So that's why we have to use this function to convert it. And the same thing, we have to use the internet address, internet address, which is convert this one to the socket uh, network address representations. And after that, this is the step two. And then that we're going to go into do the step three. So what is step three? Step three is on the client side. So we are on the client side. Send the message. So the, the send message we're going to use in the function called the send to. Send to function take a first parameter they need is a socket file descriptor. It's a socket FD which we got from our when we create socket and second is the buffer which the buffer we are going to use for sending which is a buffer sent which is a buffer sent we copied the message to the buffer sent and the third parameter is the size EOF which is the length of the buffer we are going to send which is uh, we just hard coded 256 and the third is the protocol it's automatic because we are going to here is uh, uh, protocol is zero, and the, the fourth one is the server address, which is we have uh, specified in the step two, and the length of server address, which is the length of server address, and uh, after we send, this returns the number byte of send. So we send is the size you have is two fifty six. So number of byte of send is going to be sent out. We just print out and the first step so the first step is on the client side receive a message back from server because our UDP server is ICO server we send the matter they sort of send back so we're going to receive back from the server which is using the function called receive RECV from this function take the first parameter is socket FD is okay because we send that we got a socket FD script we send receive back to use the same socket FD and the buffer receive which is the message we receive we are put into this buffer and the size of buffer which is the maximum size of the buffer and the number zero is the protocol because we create is automatic. This is the protocol is zero, and the client address, which is uh, from client side address, and the length of the client uh, client address, and number of a byte we call the R byte, which is the total byte we received from the server, and then just print out the buffer we received from the server and the total byte we received from the server, and. Uh, and the last step is step five is close the socket. So we are going to close socket file descriptor and then we exit. So this is the basic, very simple UDP client. So now let's save this and then let's compile. Okay, now we can cloud. Let's create a two, two terminal console, and uh, so the on the so on the first console we just start our sub UDP server. We give a part number one two three four. So this is the server, and on the client the terminal. We just start the UDP 
lines u d p c r e n t and uh, which we are going to send a message to the server one two three four because we are on the same machine we don't send the ip address which is using localhost and uh, we send the message this is my test udp message one so let's send so you can see when we hit enter client send 256 byte to the server and the server received 256 byte and the message is this is my test UDP message one which is we are from client command line we send this message and the part number is one two three four because the with the server is one two three four and we print out when we receive the server where package the whole the client socket information is localhost part number five five zero zero four and the total byte is seventy eight byte we received and the message we received is this is my test UDP message one which is a server bounce back the message received so let's see if I send this change to the two. And then you see server receive messenger tool and send back these messages. If we stop the server, we try to use our client, send three, and you can see our server cannot send and receive. So Hello, this is Hui. Thank you to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.